What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going for a POV drive in a Lotus Colton. You've probably seen the main feature. Had to double up and get you that POV drive of course. We've got the owner. Paul, how you doing mate? How you doing Ricky? Not too bad. Good, thank you. And let's just go over a bit of the bit of the history just for anyone that's new to the channel. So. Okay. Well, it's a Lotus Colton. Uh, book speed or book brake horsepower was 377 brake. Uh, but they actually come out of the factory at just under 400. Um, this car has had a little bit of a tuning. It is pushing standard power at the moment, but it is going for a rolling road um, in a couple of weeks to extract 550. So we're hoping to get 550 brake out of the car. Mate, that's going to be naughty. That will be, yeah. yeah. So the uh, car came out in around 1990. That's right, yeah. Uh, in publication for two years. Um, owned by Lotus and Vauxhall and collaboration between the two companies, when Vauxhall owned Lotus. Uh, and yeah, and a total of 950 cars were built. Rear wheel drive, limited slip diff. Rear wheel drive, limited slip diff, no traction control, just uh, ABS, no airbags when you got that as well. Yeah. So, and it was there. only finished in this colour, right? It was, Imperial Green. Definitely. Imperial Green, yeah. So yeah, guys, this is legendary. You have to like go on the internet and research the stories on this. This thing was faster than supercars of its time, and not just any supercars, it was faster than the fastest supercars, or the equivalent, should I say. Uh, think about it, 377 horsepower, 419, 419 pound foot of torque, yeah. yeah, all delivered to the rear wheels. Crazy, crazy. So yeah, man, just thought I'd do you a quick little brief walk. I'll show you the interior as well, actually. As you can see, look, littered with Lotus Colton. So it's like a collaboration with Vauxhall and Lotus because they were both owned by General Motors. All the body was changed. So this is based obviously on a Vauxhall Carlton, but you can see we've got the fenders, the body kit was changed, obviously twin turbos, Garrett uh, T25s, uh, 17 inch alloy wheels. You can see we've got AP Racing calipers, two pops on the rear, four pops on the front, nice tall tire, very comfortable. We've got self leveling. Yep, yep, self leveling suspension yeah. on the rear. Mm -hmm. Keeps it at a constant height for uh, for the speed. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's all done by the dynamics and the uh, aerodynamics of the car. Yeah. Top speed was 177 playing. is yeah. the book speed, but they will keep reach 186. Crazy. POV mode. Giving you lot the exclusives right now. Um, so, we've got the Clifford unlock. Yeah, that's all done there. You can start. Cool. Nice. Seat belts on, safety first, of course. <laughs> so as you can see, guys, it's a full-on luxury car. You know, it's obviously a, a very fast vehicle, but you can see lever. Uh, this car is number eight six four. There was nine hundred and fifty. You say that's built? right. Yeah, nine hundred and fifty cars in total. Yes. And how many do you reckon are on the road now? It's probably about one hundred and one hundred and two cars, we believe. Right. On the road. Cool. You see, we've got wood here. Lever on the door cards. Got a nice size steering wheel. Nice and thin. Get a nice grip on it. Lotus Colton. Lotus on the Speedo, and these are custom, right? They're these custom, not... yeah, yeah. Mm. They're not part of that. It's just a, normally a cassette holder in there. Electric windows, got air conditioning? Air conditioning and heated seats. Yeah, and uh, guys, we've got a six speed uh, Corvette ZR1 gearbox. That's the one, yep. So a nice long throw. Apparently 70 miles per hour in second gear. And uh, this car is insured for a what? 65, 70 grand? 65 yeah? grand, yeah. Jeez, so we've got to be a bit careful, guys. Shit, got some flying up our ass. So one thing you'll notice straight away is it is an inline six cylinder engine, obviously twin turbo, but um, there's not a massive amount of volume. There's no sort of overwhelming exhaust sounds. I think when you cruise, you can hear the six cylinder, but overall it's pretty silent. It almost reminds you, it doesn't sound like a Porsche turbo, but when you drive Porsche turbos, there's not really much tone. It's just like a load of air almost. Um, but yeah, look, third gear. <laughs> oh my god, that is nuts, man. Because <laughs> I watched so many videos, and yeah, it's a, I've said it obviously in the main feature, but it's a deceiving power, man. It really is strong. And uh, we're revving out to uh, just under 7k? Yes, yeah, yeah, just under 7 grand. It'll be on the red line. Yeah. Imagine this with an extra 100, 150 brake horsepower, guys. Cannot wait to see what that's like. You say we've got upgraded ECU, upgraded injectors. Yeah, it's got upgraded uh, injectors, 1000cc uh, Bosch injectors. Mm -hmm. um, Running direct fire on the ignition timing, yeah, um, and it's got a Heltec 2500 Elite reprogrammable ECU. Got ya. So the car has basically been built. There was a few issues previously with the car. It was rebuilt, and uh, you thought, why not upgrade it, yeah. run a bit more power? Yeah. yeah, let's try and get some power out of the cars because others are doing it. So second gear, guys. Man, it really gets going, doesn't it? Yeah. 
<laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah, and uh, the steering's got a nice weight to it. Like, as you slow down, the wheel gets lighter for like uh, maneuverability, and as you get going, the wheel gets heavier. So, right now, we've got a real nice weight to this car, man. It feels just inspires confidence, I suppose. Some of these new cars, they feel flimsy and light and can really knock them off balance, but it's comfortable as well. So, we've got this. You know, the self-leveling, I suppose you said, is more for performance, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Third gear, guys. Like, on a road like this. <laughs> 1990, they were flying around in this, and this was a car that um, the police tried to ban. You know, guys, like, really look into the uh, history on this car. This car was so fast, they tried to ban it. Where did it reach? The, the House of Parliament, or was it? It was the only car in the, in the world to, to reach the House of Parliament to get banned. Yep. Wow, it was that fast, guys. 177 miles per hour. And it's still a fast car today, 100%. Obviously, Lotus, we know they're into... Oh, that's nice. Second gear. <laughs> wow. It's bloody fast, isn't it? So what I'm noticing as well, guys, is um, the throttle. It's got a real nice blip. Like, we've got twin turbos, but we've still got a nice throttle sensitivity. Feels NA. Obviously, the original engine is NA. Sorry, Paul, don't worry. I've got it's under control. <laughs> I've just done a little poo. <laughs> yeah. 1,655 kilos, you know? But it doesn't feel like a big sort of, you know, because that is a quite a bit of weight that is do you know what i mean i mean even the f10 m5 of today is around um oh i suppose they're a bit more actually 1900 ish or maybe 1800 ish we spin it around man awesome awesome guys into reverse no that wasn't no, reverse oh sorry yeah lever and right over. all right it. got you give it some revs it is uh, reasonably easy to drive as well. It's not difficult. Throttle's nice. Clutch isn't, you know, it's got some weight to it, but it's not the worst. I've driven many like cars with bad clutches. But yeah, very silent, right? What's it like on the motorway? Well, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, very, very quiet, very comfortable. Um, and yeah, sixth gear is just amazing. Mm. You can cruise at 80 miles an hour in sixth gear and you're down at 1500 revs per minute, so. Yeah, I got you. Very economical on the sixth gear. Wow, it's really uh, softly sprung, guys. It's absorbing all these potholes really nice. Some standard cars can't drive, it, drive over here really nice. They hit the bump stops, they're crashy, and this is just hovering over, man. Rev match to second, give it full throttle. Man. Yeah, I mean, what would I put this to the equivalent of, like, performance-wise? I don't know, it's just a bit of turning of the steering wheel. But the body, uh, the steering is responding to the body, you know? It's not like a, some, like, you know, for the age of the car, you'd think there'd be probably a bit more turning required, but it's, uh, it's nice, really nice. Of course, Lotus, man. You hear that woo woo <laughs> yeah. the turbo chatter, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And um, when you go uh, 500, 550, that's with the stock turbos, right? That's with the stock turbos, yeah. 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 Is there anyone ever modified one of these? I've never... Yes, they have modified. They put bigger turbos in, so you can get the uh, the turbo shells or the turbo um, snail shells bought out right. to take a T27 turbo. Right. Um, That'd be crazy. And that, that does suck out some bigger power. Yeah. But I mean, this is nice as it is. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, look, 3,000 RPM and we're just fully on, boy. <laughs> Man, it's such a privilege to be driving this car, guys. You've not got a clue. Yeah, gearbox feels solid. And as I've already said, uh, definitely easy to drive. Like now, you feel that wheel tightening up. Second gear, we're at two and a half, three thousand. Three and a half is just on strong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's actually a really quick car. Zero to 65.2 seconds at the time. You said it was actually recorded at 4.8? 4.8, yeah. 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 
and there's a few stories about the top speed on this obviously officially they say 177 Paul says it will do like 186 uh, one story that I read up it said that apparently if you hit the rev limiter in fifth gear I don't know what speed that is but it unlocks pass <laughs> I don't know right? yeah no there, is, there so, is no limit on this car it, yeah. it is what it is that was one of the things that Vauxhall and Lux were very specific about they would not limit this car in any way shape or form so yeah the limit on that is, is bogus last third gear before we end the video yes effortless power literally effortless this will just relentlessly pull in each gear 100 percent lovely thank you so much paul no i appreciate you coming down i thought i'd give you guys an extra little video um, yeah no thank you so much sick car as soon as you're ready um you know, you say it's on the dyno soon yeah. for, for, for some rolling road tuning. Yes. Uh, so yeah, guys, 550 brake. We'll definitely get another POV drive. Of course, if you want to see that, and I know you will want to see that. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Till next time. Can't slow me down like speed hump. No. Keep up no. when I speed up. No. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See your girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel, that's five stars. Yeah. Make the rules disappear.